unstoppable Tracy and I am so proud to be outside the Scotiabank Toronto International Film Festival superstar Nick Hurd. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. I almost feel a bit cheeky to say what his film is called, but we'll, we'll make you wait with anticipation. Nick, will you tell us some of the other films that you've been in? I'm uh, sure. I've been in a movie called uh, The Run of Claiborne Story. It was based on the Special Olympics. Oh, yes. It was founded by Eunice. By Eunice? By, by Eunice. Oh, fantastic. Kennedy. Kennedy. And what was your I, role in it? And my role in that, I was an extra. Oh, very cool. In the movie. In the movie. Did you love that? Was, I did. It was just a small part. But yes. Not a big part, but that's okay with me. Yeah. And I was in another movie called True Confessions. True Confessions. It was a also a disability film. Oh yes. And what do you mean by that? And we had a sister who was doing a film about his brother. Oh, you're kidding. Yes. And that turned out really well. And my role in that, I was just in a in a classroom setting in a basketball setting and a football setting area, so I'm in, a, I'm, in a, I'm in a few scenes. Well, that's kind of fun. And now you are in kind of a new scene with a very extraordinary film name. I can't believe that you invited your mom to this film. Will you tell our listeners the name of your film? Uh, yeah, it's called The Last Porno Show. The Last Porno Show? Yes. And my character in it is where I am a roommate in a, an apartment living with another roommate. And my other role is where, I, where I'm actually watching porn. Oh my goodness! Holy yeah. cow! And it's reflecting off my glasses. And so, and that what my role is, and my other role was by Kiri Buffett, the Rainbow Kid. And I was in, and only, I'm, I'll be the actor named Bill, the character named Bill. Yes. And that turned out really well. And it's going, and that went very successful. And that was like back in 2015, the screening of that. And, 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 I'm, and I'm looking forward to this screening of the last corner show. I mean, and, and this is pretty big world, like International Toronto Film Festival, TIFF, Toronto International yeah. Film Festival. Lots of films that are filmed here at TIFF end up at the Oscars, so you never know. This might be your big break. It's very exciting. The lineup is around the corner, folks. People wanting to see your film. It's a packed house, sold out. I can't even get tickets and I want to watch. Especially now I know I, the name I, of the I film. I think it best. I think it's probably sold out now. Yes. I think. For weeks, which yeah, is amazing. Yeah, for, for the past couple of days it's been sold out. Have you seen any of your co-stars? I have. And one of them just went in and they're going to get ready to go for the film. Fabulous. Were you able to interview them? I did. Yes. I, I was able to interview them on my show, Confirmed with Nick. That's so cool. That is, it is so cool. Like our <laughs> show. Yes. And we're looking forward to it for the film. So what did you do to prepare? Did you have to memorize lines? Or? Yes. We had to memorize lines and show up and be on time. And be on time. This is very crucial. Yes. And you're about to be late for the for the show okay. itself. I think yes. they've left the audience in. They're about to release the line. Yes. So I have to get going now. So and thanks for watching and watching us. And thank you for being with us today. You have Nick here with the movie called The Last Porno Show. The Last Porno Show and Unstoppable Tracy reporting from the Disability Channel here downtown Toronto at the Scotia Theatre with the release launch at the Toronto International Film Festival. So bye for now folks, thanks for joining us.